I have been busy. Uh, I'm always busy. Basically, my original deadline was to get this thing ready for the December meeting up Western Supermare. However, I brought that forwards by two months because I always underestimate how fast I work. And it's always good to have a deadline. It keeps you, um, keeps you motivated to actually get things done. So this is very, very close to being done. Since the last video, I've put all the clips on the other curtain and they're exactly the same setup as this. So every other one is functional and each, the rest of them are just blanked off. And I showed you that in the previous video. What I've done majorly since the last one is a lot of wiring. Um, as you can see, there's marker lights. There's five a side on the rail. And then I put two side repeaters, one between each of the wheels there, look, or the arches. Originally, I was only going to have one side repeater per side. But I sent a picture to a few friends and my friend Swen said, would look cool if you put another one there. So I had two spare and uh, he was right. So yeah, so those are side repeaters and the rest are marker lights and the wires run under the, well through the cross members there look, on both sides. And I've stuck them on, I don't know if you can see, I might have to get a torch, but they basically stick onto a piece of styrene and then the styrene is stuck with glue to the rail. That's basically all it is. It's quite simple, but it just gives you this little, that's all you can see, is the light. So they're wired up, the two at the top here are wired up, and then the indicator repeaters are wired up. I've also put lights above the door. They arrived yesterday, and I put them on yesterday evening. I put some pictures up, because I can't be, the trailer isn't very easy to move. <laughs> and so, yeah, all the wiring now... It's all done to the point where all the wires terminate in the rear pallet box. It's a bit of a spaghetti junction in there at the minute. But I need to now put the beer unit in. Um, also, on the previous video, uh, my friend Dave put a comment saying, why haven't I got these as side repeaters? And that's a good question. Most trailers now have the marker lights as indicators, so like dual function. So if you put your hazards or you put your indicators on, they start flashing. Um... I would love to have done that, however I haven't set that function up on the T-cap. I've set it up on the S because when I wired the T-cap, beer didn't do that as a function, but they update the software um, every now and then with new features. And when I went to wire the S, they'd added it as a feature. So on the S, that light there and that one down there, and I think that's it, are marker lights, but when I turn the indicator on, or the hazards, they start flashing. I haven't got that on the T-cab, and in order to do it, I would have to rewire it the way I've wired the truck. I can e I could easily go into the software and change the output option from pure indicator to the, the dual marker and indicator, but the problem is, I've wired the indicators in with this one here, and the ones in the front bumper in the headlight and they're pure indicator so if i was to change the output to hybrid they would come on with the marker lights and that ain't right same thing in the um, perimeter kit i've got amber lights in that which are purely indicator but if i just change the the option in the software they would come on with the marker lights which isn't right i'd have to essentially create two more outputs and i haven't got two more outputs spare i've only got one i think um so it would require a lot of rework which i don't want to do so at the minute the truck's got stand all the marker lights are on in that picture and the indicators are that one there that's a side repeater the indicators in the perimeter kit and the one in the headlight and that's why this trailer has got two purpose indicator repeaters not copying the outputs from the marker light um it's just the way that truck's set up this one which will have a trailer and that is something that's coming quite soon, and I was very excited to show you that, we'll have marker lights on the trailer that do flash, because they will be the same output as those two, they will be indicators as well. So that's that's the reason why it's like that. Now, um, one other thing that I've done on this, which I really like, let me open the curtain and I'll show you. I've put a floor in it. Um, so I brought a load of lollipop sticks and I stained them very lightly, but I didn't want really dark, I wanted it to be quite light. Um, and I've 
glued them in. I think that looks really cool. Um, it's not probably not quite 100% to scale, but I don't really care. It was better than having it dark red because it was very dark inside. But um, yeah, I've also I've stained all of these. I haven't put them all in. They're all uh, sorry. They're all just here. But um, I'll put them in at some point. Um, the only one I haven't I haven't quite finished right at the front. It's sort of I ran out of wood stain. So I need to get more and then obviously finish it. And there was an odd width, so I put a rubber strip. This that's actual like proper rubber that I use for, to make the uh, flaps. I have some spares that I had, and I've done it across the back doors as well, so where it meets the, the edge of the floor. So yeah, the only one I haven't glued in is this one because that wire I need to just tidy it up. That's the wire for the lights above the door, which I've shown you in that picture. So yeah, it's getting there. So basically. Um, I said the aim is the October meeting, which is in two weeks' time. However, I would love to get it to Plymouth, which is in one week's time. In order to do that, or for me to be happy to do it, um, I need the decals, which will go on the back doors and the flap. My friend Lee is making them for me. Hopefully I can pick them up um, Sunday this week. So, fingers crossed, um, that should be good. And then I need to finish the floor, but that's not critical, but I've got more wood stain on the way. I've still got a few lolly. I bought 100 lollipop sticks, and I think I've used about 80. So it was quite a, it was quite was the most relaxing job I've ever done in this hobby, I think. That was really cool to do. <laughs> that's just because I'm weird, but yeah, they go all the way up. I haven't quite got them to the front yet, but I need to cut a few in half and make them so they go right up to the bulkhead. But yeah, I need to finish that. Um, I've started making metal versions of these um, styrene brackets. To be honest with you, it's not as critical as I thought. Now, uh, now that I know to be careful with them, it's those little plastic pegs there. The other ones are a bit fragile. But now that I know to be careful with them, they're lasting better. But I still made um, these metal versions, which I still need to drill the holes, you know, the, they cut to size and shape, they just need to have the holes drilled and countersunk in them. And I'm going to wrap them in black vinyl wrap because I can't be bothered to paint. The weather's gone horrible and, and it probably won't be nice again until March. So I need to get them sorted and put on. So basically it's finish the floor, get the stickers on, get those roof brackets sorted. But that's not critical, neither is the floor really. The decals are the only critical bit and tidy that wire up. I'll stick it right behind that beam. Um, and then it's put the beer unit in. So the beer unit, I'll put a picture up of what I'm talking about here, but there's two, I've got two versions. I've got the old one, which is on the right hand side, that bigger unit, and I've got the new one on the left. Um, the, the, the tipper currently has the old one in it, but I want to put the new one in because it has a built-in motor output, um, which I'm going to use for the tipper itself. So the old one, it's bigger and it's perfectly good for lights, and of course this trailer here is just got lights on it. And um, it's got a big storage box to put the beer unit in. So I need to take swap the units around in the tipper and then put the one that was in that in this. So yeah, it's the beer unit stuff, the floor finished that, the top roof bracket, aluminium brackets, finished them and wrapped them and put them on, and then the decals. And we should really be pretty much there. Um, I would like to, in the future, do add some more stickers to it. Uh, red underglow has also crossed my mind, but again, that can be sorted in the future. I'm not too worried about that right now. And uh, yeah, that's it then. So it's, um, it's looking good. Yeah, that's uh, obviously you put that pack together again, put the top bar on, and over a few minutes, all those um, creases they sort of uh, they release or whatever the word is, so it becomes nice and smooth again. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that was a, a good little update for you, and hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be ready to go out in public. Well, it could probably go out now, but you know what I mean, like, I like it to be at a certain level. So get the wiring, get those little jobs done, basically. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.